Okay, now we're going to look at matrix operations. Uh, we'll look at how to do some of them by hand, and then look at how to do them in both MATLAB and Excel. So properties of matrices, again, a matrix is just a one or two dimensional array. Uh, we usually designate it by boldface type, and we show the elements within square brackets. The size of a matrix, or dimension as it's called, is the number of rows by the number of columns. So on the left we have a square matrix that's a 3 by 3. On the right one with two rows and four columns. We say that's a 2 by 4. Um, the element, if we uh, show that as a subscript, then each of the elements of this matrix A would be A11, A12, etc. Of course in MATLAB we show those in, uh, in parentheses separated by commas. So A1, 2 would be the element on the first row in the second column. So the easiest thing to do with matrices is with matrix addition. You have to have the same size in order to add them and you just add the individual elements. So in this case you can switch the order of those and say that A plus B is equal to B plus A. Multiplication by a scalar, again very easy to do multiply each element by that scalar. This comes in handy sometimes though if we want to display um, a matrix that has very very large or very small numbers. So again 29 million, 1.6 million, etc. can be shown in a compact way with the uh, 29, 1.6, etc. in the matrix and then the times 10 to the 6 means again that each one of those elements gets multiplied by a million. To multiply two matrices together, first of all you have to have compatible sizes. So to multiply A times B, you have to have the same number of columns in A as you have rows in B. And the resultant matrix will be have the same number of rows of A as the columns as B. So if we look at these two matrices here, A and B, can we find A times B? Well again there's three rows, two columns, uh, excuse me, first one has two rows, three columns, the second one three rows, two columns, and yes you can um, multiply those two together. The size of that will be a two by two, the number of rows in A and the number of columns in B. Now the easiest way to remember that is just to write the sizes two by three times three by two. If those two inner values match then you can do the multiplication and the finished, or the product rather, will be the outer values here, in this case a 2 by 2. So let's show how that's going to work. Um, element C11, we take the first row of A and multiply each uh, element there by each element of the first column of B and sum those up. So in this case C11 will be minus 4 times 3 plus 5 times 2 plus 0 times uh, three, excuse me, that should be uh, uh, just zero times zero there, but again the same answer is uh, minus two. To find element C12, that's first row times second column, and so forth. Two one, second row, first column, and the two two, second row, second column. And there's the answer. In generally, general, you can't switch the order of uh, multiplication. In some cases it's not even possible uh, because of the number of rows and columns. Finding the transpose simply means you're switching the rows and the columns. So a um, uh, matrix on uh, A on the left, the transpose of that is shown on the right. So the first row becomes the first column, etc. You can also in MATLAB use the prime uh, symbol and uh, in general in the T uh, superscript or the prime means that uh, that's a transpose. The determinant of matrix is a scalar product and so you can do the 2 by 2 <coughs> and 3 by 3 pretty easily by hand. For a 2 by 2 you simply cross multiply A11 times A22 minus A12 times A21. For 3 by 3 you have to expand that out taking the top row A11, A12, and A13. Remember that that second uh, term has a negative sign. 
And then by striking out the row and the column that correspond to each one of those, you end up with the determinant of a 2 by 2 uh, for each one of those. Now you can do this with larger matrices, but uh, it's really, at this point you should do it with MATLAB or Excel. An inverse of a matrix is um, only exists for square matrices, and not all square matrices will have that inverse. If it does exist, though, then when you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you end up with the identity matrix. And that is a square matrix that has only ones on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. And for a 2 by 2, it's pretty easy to find by hand. It's 1 over the determinant. And then for your, um, you take the original matrix, swap the A11 and A22, change the signs of A12 and A21. Now, it's important to remember that the inverse only exists if the determinant is non-zero. Let's look at MATLAB here. Here are two matrices, G and H. To multiply the two, it's the same as if we were multiplying two scalars together. Just say G times H, and we get the uh, resultant uh, matrix. To do the transpose, again, there is a, a command just called transpose or you can simply use the prime command symbol here. So again, there's the matrix A, A prime just switches the rows and the columns. The determinant is DET. And to invert, I and V. So pretty straightforward. Again, multiplication, just the same as, uh, as the scalar multiplication sign, transpose, either the transpose command or prime, determinants DET and inverse I and V. All right, let's look at Excel. Again, we have those same um, uh, same operations we have uh, commands for. And uh, remember that except for the determinant, all of these commands apply to an array of cells, and so you have to identify where the answer is going to go. So in this case, we want to multiply a um, matrix A, which is two rows by four columns, times matrix B, which is four rows times three columns. So the answer is going to be a two by three. And you need to know that ahead of time so that you can highlight the entire two by three array where this is going to go. For multiplication, it's the mmult function. Remember that the order of multiplications is important, so I have to identify matrix A first, comma, then matrix B. And if we just hit enter, we only get the first, the 1, 1 term. So always remember you have to hit control shift enter with array functions, and that fills out the entire um, 2 by 3 uh, array that is the uh, product of A and B. Uh, determinant, don't have to uh, uh, identify a range for that because remember, a determinant is a scalar value, and mdeterm is your uh, command in, in Excel. Only square matrices can have inverses, so if you want to invert this matrix, use the M inverse command. And since this is a 3x3, three three, again, highlight a 3x3, three three, enter that command, and then Control shift enter And that's the basics of uh, uh, matrices. And we'll talk about simultaneous equations, which will be a, um, an application of this uh, in just a bit.